Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where in today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at a rumor going around that Hayden Christensen is going to be reprising his role as Anakin. I'm going to give you what is happening, what the logical take is, and then we're going to go with how likely this is to happen. I have spoken. Hello there to all of the returning subscribers, but if you're new to the channel and you're just finding Star Wars Coffee for the first time, be sure to always hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell. And don't forget to check out Star Wars Coffee on Twitter and Twitch, and don't forget to check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise. Links are in the description below. Do it! And now let's go to a galaxy far, far away. This is the way. Alright, so this article comes to us written by Michael Connolly, titled Hayden Christensen to reprise role as Anakin Skywalker in Kenobi series. And it is noted as a rumor, which is good because this definitely is a rumor. I just know that the second anything with Hayden Christensen and Star Wars comes out, it's going to be all over everywhere soon. And I thought I'd stay on top of this to give you guys a more, you know, kind of skeptical look at this as I think we should take this with a huge grain of salt as every time we think that Hayden Christensen is going to be appearing, he usually does not. Now, we did get that cameo at the end of The Rise of Skywalker, um, which was literally just a couple of lines, and it was just his voice. But that is a cameo nonetheless, which we will get back to in a little bit. But let's take a look at this article here. It goes like this. It looks like Disney or Hayden Christensen is not done with the Skywalker saga after all. With the recent success of the last season of The Clone Wars and the love of the prequels continuing to grow, it seems that Disney wants to capitalize on this wave. A source shared with us that the producers are currently in talks with Hayden Christensen to reprise his role as Anakin Skywalker. How big of the role is still being debated. So let the theories begin. A guess is that we would see Anakin in some sort of dream sequence that Obi-Wan would have. While this may sound crazy, this would not be the first time that Hayden Christensen has returned to this role. Remember at the end of The Rise of Skywalker, we heard his voice in the Jedi sequence with Rey. One source mentioned that this would be, of course, neither confirmed or denied by everyone at Disney and Lucasfilm, including Hayden Christensen. The plan is to announce this news at Star Wars Celebration alongside Rodario, Rosario Dawson being cast as the live-action version of Ahsoka Tano. This makes sense on why Star Wars Celebration has not yet been cancelled as many other conventions have. The Disney Plus Obi-Wan Kenobi series is scheduled to start production sometime in early 2021. Ewan McGregor is set to reprise his role as Obi-Wan, and Deborah Chow will be the showrunner for the first six episode series. So that's the report written by Michael Connolly, and what he's obviously hinting at is that this is likely going to be for the Kenobi series. This again would be my speculation as well, as if this is for anything it's going to be a Kenobi series, I highly doubt that they're going to do anything with... Hayden in terms of an Anakin series, in terms of anything with an anthology film. I just don't see that happening. As much as I think fans would love that, I just don't see it happening in any, any way. But I do think that this idea that there would be a cameo in the Kenobi series would make sense. And I think that that would be okay if they wanted to do Hugh McGregor, kind of give him a PTSD vibe and do flashbacks with the Revenge of the Sith era stuff. Hayden Christensen obviously looks great. He hasn't really aged. And so... This would be something that could easily happen in terms of just doing a couple of flashback sequences, having Hayden record some short scenes, some dialogue, some flashbacks for Obi-Wan to chew on that we didn't get to see in Revenge of the Sith. And I think that uh, this is actually pretty good insight as to why Star Wars Celebration may have not been canceled at this point. And that is because they want to do um, this announcement where they're going to announce Rosario Dawson as a as Ahsoka Tano in the live action, which we have heard that it's going to be some type of live action role in The Mandalorian Season 2, and Rosario Dawson essentially has confirmed that. And at this point, we have still, you know, Anaheim 2020 is where Star Wars Celebration is going gonna, is gonna to take place at this point, and there's still um, tickets available. There's 112 days till the convention. I'm on the website now. That's why I'm stalling a second just to make sure that at this point of recording this video, we have not had any cancellation as to what is actually happening at this point. So it, it seems to me that reasons for this 
could easily be Hayden Christensen going to make an announcement. He's been at the last couple of Star Wars celebrations, so it would make sense to do this. But getting to my last point that I said I would answer at the beginning of this video on how likely I think this is to actually happen, I would give it a 50-50 shot. It would be it'd definitely be a toss-up. Um, I think that if it happens, it's really going to be on that light side. Like I said, a couple of scenes where it's literally just a couple of lines of dialogue and a flashback that Obi-Wan would see in the Kenobi series. I don't expect anything full action if this does actually come to fruition. Again, I'm very skeptical about this. Anytime Hayden Christensen's name is name dropped in a Star Wars saga, I have a hard time believing that any of that could actually come to fruition. But we will find out in 118 days at Star Wars Celebration pending closure, and we will find out then for sure. Hopefully, I would love to see Hayden Christensen back as Anakin Skywalker. I always loved Anakin. He was my favorite character up there with Luke at this point. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. May God bless you and the Force be with you. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.